Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lever. Let's continue playing as a German Reich. Um, yeah, let's get started with this once again. So right now we're taking a look at our factories. Uh, honestly, if you play a little bit more historically, that by meaning you don't take out Poland early on, you probably would have more factories. But my goal is to play kind of the long game, and that's why we're continuing to build factories as well as oil refineries. Now, uh, basically, at this point, you can do whatever you want. You can go to war with the Allies if you want, with the French and the United Kingdom. You could go to war with the Soviet Union and just ignore the Allies for the entire time. But if you do that, that would make the United Kingdom quite a bit more difficult to invade. So right now, what we're going to do is that I'm doing the Second Vienna Award so that Romania and Hungary can settle kind of their differences between, you know, who owns what in Transylvania. But I've also decided to start justifying on Belgium. Uh, I'm not going to justify on the Netherlands yet because I don't really care for the Netherlands. I mean, I don't really see the point of me attacking them at the moment. It really doesn't matter to me. Belgium, though, we're going to schleif in once again. And then, of course, the French. I mean, we're just pushing into there. But before I attack, I must have one thing. One thing that I absolutely must have is four 40 width medium tank divisions. Now, we have just barely enough army XP to do this. So we make our entire tank division uh, made up of either motorized or tanks. Medium tanks. That'll be extremely important in my opinion just because when we do attack I want to make sure that we can easily push in. We have three tank divisions already but we're definitely going to need more medium tanks and a motorized division can also help with uh, pushing in quickly. So until we go to war, which can happen anytime, I could go to war now if I wanted to, or I, you know, thought about it earlier. Uh, just it's up to you at this point. But I still want to invade the United Kingdom by 1941. I mean, it is May 1939. Uh, most of your maps should probably look like this if you're trying to play like me a little bit. Maybe except for Poland, since I took out Poland early. Fine with me. Also, the thing about taking out Poland is that you see all this extra territory. Half of Poland, or maybe like two-fifths of Poland, would have gone to the Soviets. And by you taking all of these extra provinces, you don't have to invade nearly as far into the Soviet Union. I mean, you still have to invade far, but you don't. You have a better starting position. Especially if you have Romania and Hungary in your alliance. You might be able to make, make it maybe a small encirclement right there. Anyways, uh, I don't think I have any puppets. Yeah, these guys are not my puppets, they're just my allies. Because I decided not to integrate the war economies to make them my puppets, but just merely align them to join us. Which is fine with me, because once we go to war with the Allies, we we'll either get oil from the Soviets or Romania. Or both. And I got some really hot coffee here. Actually, I'm not going to take a taste of that yet. Alright. So let's just continue on. The longer we delay the war, the more naval XP we can grind out, the more planes we can build, and the more tanks we can also build as well. Which would be very, very important. Tanks, 18s, that's not bad. Tungsten, I don't mind trading one more. Just one more for tanks. Oh my goodness. That's a little bit too much. No, not you. Portugal. Thank you. Thank you very much. We can make six tanks a day. Motorized, actually, we'll probably have to, actually have to expand that quite a bit. But we're making a lot of heavy fighters, a lot of naval bombers, which is extremely great. And we're getting some more army XP because we're helping defend against the Japanese. Very good. Actually, are you becoming 39% towards an organizer and infantry leader? And Kyle Eggles here is this, the Penne Incident. Well, British and American gunboats were attacked by Japanese aircraft around China. Oh my goodness, Japan. Now, this might be the end of China. My goal really wasn't to help out China that much. Mine was just uh, to pretty much get the Japanese to leave China alone. That's really my goal, but it doesn't look like it's really working at the moment. Second Vienna Award. So, recognizing that a new order has been established in Europe, we've been asked by Hungary and Romania to arbitrate in a territorial dispute between the two countries. Transylvania was taken from Hungary and incorporated into Romani Romania in one of the many ill-conceived changes forced upon the world at Versailles. Should Northern Transylvania be returned to Hungarian control? Uh, no. Give all of give Hungary all of Transylvania. Give Hungary Northern Transylvania. Uh, I don't mind Northern Transylvania. If we give them all of Transylvania, that include, you know, Transylvania. Uh, that include Krasanya and Banant. North Transylvania as well. Uh, that would actually severely weaken the Romanians. How many factories do you have? Um, let's see. You are becoming more and more fascist. 
you guys are already fascist as is. 15 factories, 23 factories. I want to balance them out. So you have... Oh, no, no, no. They don't have very many factories at all. They, the Romanians have more divisions, but they also have, you know, dockyards. So it's kind of good for them. Uh, you know what? Let's just give them Northern Transylvania. And... Italy can be invited. I think they actually finished um, their focus called Pact of Steel. So that's good. Let's see. Before, uh, actually, let me show you this. Belgium, I'm justifying on Belgium. We have, they're being guaranteed by the Allies, so that's fine with me. We have quite a few days until we actually go to war with the Belgians, but the Italians actually might go to war with the Allies first. You never know. So basically, at this point, like I said, you can do whatever you want, but this is how I'm going to play my Germany campaign. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? I can demand Slovenia. We already have an alliance with Italy, so will this automatically cancel out? No, it won't. Italy pursues closer bonds with Germany. We stand together. Why is this not bypassed? There it goes. Now we bypassed. We wasted a... Oh, well. But that'll get us with an alliance with National Spain, but I have to capitulate France first, as well as befriend Turkey, which actually could be pretty good. And we will influence Turkey with fascist support for three years. Wow. So, let's go ahead. We could reassert Eastern claims, but that'll just give us claims. Uh, I'll get Mamel from Lithuania later. It's not really important. I do want Slovenia, though, because that was an Austrian province. And if we can nullify Yugoslavian interests in the Balkans, especially if they're surrounded by us and the Italians and the Hungarians and the Romanians, they may uh, reconsider existing. Man. That sounds kind of crazy to think about. They may reconsider existing. Jesus. Uh, anyways, it is June 1939. We got a lot of industry going. We have artillery already finished. We have armor finished. We have guns finished. We are doing very well. We could use more uh, field hospitals, though, as well as some of this stuff, especially maintenance companies. That's really important. Land doctrine is going well. Naval stuff, we will have to research next year. Trade interdiction, not bad, not bad. Plane stuff, we might want to do. I need more fuel, though. And I need more rubber. Let's definitely get some more rubber first, because we are already lacking quite a bit of rubber as we are building more and more factories. Just keep on building. Uh, it looks like I'm going to do this. I want another military factory run before these are all done. So there's so many places that have 60% infrastructure. I did say I wanted to turn Poland into an oil field, which will happen eventually, but that's okay. Uh, go below here. I want to finish that refinery first. Awesome. And are we getting attacked? Yes. And the Chinese and the Japanese, they're not liking each other very much, but you know what? That sounds pretty darn historical to me. Just just defend. You know, we might lose some territory. You're just here to help get some more XP for everyone. And you're getting attacked quite a bit, which is fine with me. So let's see if this coffee's cool yet. I did have someone leave in the comments yesterday asking if I'll play Kaiserreich next. You know, I should alternate between this vanilla as well as Kaiserreich the mod. Which sounds like a good idea. Maybe I'll do that, actually. Just because uh, it gives it maybe a break in continuity of just me playing vanilla ever since Man the Guns came out. Since Kaiserreich is updated. He wanted me to play, though, the West Indies Federation. Which, I'm going to be honest with you, is not an easy faction to play as. I'll be honest as well. I know it's not easy, but I've actually never played as them. Because it just sounds really intimidating to play as the West Indies Federation. Now, I have the option of playing as, you know, any ideology, but... If you're not democratic, you might not win. Actually, you know what? Let's extend this front line just by a little bit. Maybe one more tile. Tianjin would be a good place to, to defend as we gradually get more and more attacked. Let's see. Stockpile of planes. We have a lot of naval bombers. A lot more, at least. Quite a good amount of heavy fighters. That's good. It actually might be very beneficial. Ooh, yes. Yeah, better radar. Yes. Might be very beneficial to send some planes to China. How many planes we got here? We got 100 heavy fighters. I can put in another 400 here. Uh, that's fine. And then put... Oh, we got a lot of naval bombers. That's good. Put another 100 here. Put another 100 here as well. Close air support's doing okay. Not too concerned about it. And we have... So we can modify our government. Oh, the last thing is Chief of Navy... Yeah, as much as I love convoy rating, we will really need capital ship armor attacks, screen defense, stuff like that. Uh, how is our navy looking? 
How actually is it looking? Got a lot of crappy subs. I'm not even making subs. Go ahead and repair. Uh, no, actually, no. There we go. And then you guys are all training. Uh, go ahead and repair since we got time. A little bit of time at least. Four battleships, four heavy cruisers. Eight light cruisers and 25 destroyers isn't terrible. Could definitely be a lot better. Really, my goal is to make sure my navy does not die because I need them to invade, of course, the UK. Alright, so we're still getting attacked here in Asia. Fine with me. We got 20 army XP. That's great. Really, really great. Surprised they're not attacking a little bit more. Even though the Chinese were invaded near... What was this? Qingdao? They brought... They, you know, actually fought back, but now they're losing it again. Same thing with down here. What was, what was that? Hangzhou, and then... Fuzan might need some more divisions up there. It's alright, China. I kind of have the line at the moment. Kind of have it. 20 width. Good. I'm glad I have field hospitals on these guys. That'll really help us out. Really? Oh my gosh, the Japanese definitely come back with a, with a vengeance. Ooh. Demand Slovenia. Oh, and yet another triumph for Darien Action Slovenia, soon to be renamed Karolia, Carniola, has been returned to its rightful home in the German Reich. Awesome. I, you know, whenever I do that focus, usually it actually doesn't work for me. It does work sometimes, but not very much. Actually, Italy has a, Italy has a claim, but I also have a claim on that as well. Ooh. First Ljubljana award. We can divide up Yugoslavia here. Now, if they say no, we basically, I believe, get a free Cassus Belly on them, which would actually be very, very fun. Lots of fun taking out people, right? If you have the power to take them out, why don't you take them out, right? Uh, need to buy, and that's fine with me. Building more factories up. Now we're building a lot of refineries, because God knows we're going to need a lot of refineries. Uh, let's see. How is our tank stockpile is coming along? We are getting more motorized. Actually, we might want to focus a little bit. Actually, we already did pretty good on our motorized. That's pretty good. Uh, not bad. We're just... I'm going to make sure... Yes, it is September 1st or 2nd, 1939. But I just have to make sure that we are okay when it comes to uh, planes, aircraft. You have to have the best... Oh, baby. That is not good. Advanced machine tools. Awesome. More fuel. More resources. I think so. Could we attack here as well? The Japanese are not looking too good right now in this tile. Uh, we, could, we did push them back. That's not bad. Come up here. Help defend. Awesome. We don't want them to get too far in to the mainland. We still get a bunch of political power every single day. The United States, how fascist are you? It is 1939. You are 42% fascist. That's actually a lot of fascism in the United States. Awesome. Uh, rub improved rubber processing, 1939 stuff. Just build, build, build. Mm, air superiority actually could probably help out quite a bit. Uh, you know what? Even though it says we are losing stuff every day. Oops. Oops. There we go. I like to click things way too fast. Let's send in 300 heavy fighters. Let's see if we can start getting a bunch of of air XP since we only have 50 left. We have over 300 naval experience. That's going to come in so handy when we build up the Kriegsmarine to be extremely powerful. Uh, let's see. Do we find enemy? Yes, we have found some enemy fighters. And we are now going to rake in some of that XP. At least down in southern China we'll be okay. Uh, well, actually, they don't really have any invasion plans right now. If I could get Beijing's place right here back, that'd be great. They are attacking from here. Actually, could we attack back? Oh, yes. If we can do that, we can, might be able to do extremely well here. As long as we get that piece of territory back. Yes, I know we really shouldn't be focusing so hard on China. But the amount of XP we're going to get, I think, justifies me. All right, so we're almost done, actually, with our government, which is really cool. Na max naval range. A, a attack could be very good as well. Army logistics, interception could be good. Um, I'm really liking interception so that we can intercept, you know, enemies. More defense, more agility, but I'm also thinking naval AA because the enemies will have a ton of aircraft in the seas because they will use carriers and I, as well as normal planes, 
So I'm thinking Naval AA is probably the way to go since we don't actually have a ton of light cruisers yet. That I mean, I believe we are making... Yeah, we're making some light cruisers. That's not bad. Come on. You gotta break in through here. Oh, actually. This is a little troublesome. I might actually have to abandon my line up here. Oh, good. You got that. And basically, we're just waiting to invade Belgium. Typical German things, you know. 600 to 400. I can actually send another 100 there. I'm going to do that just because uh, they need some support. To Beijing. This could help us out defending if we can send our planes over here. So that the way the enemy doesn't have air superiority. All right, we're getting a little bit more of that. Improved oil processing. Awesome. It's almost November. Uh, 142 days is too much. Field hospitals. Let's do field hospitals since we already have divisions in the field working with us, working for us. First, Ljubljana, a war. Now, are we going to go to war with this? A hypocritical Western powers pre preach national self-determination while handing over many minorities to be ruled by the Serbs. We are in a position to right that historic wrong and make friends at the same time. For those who wish to side with us in the European order, we can be very, very generous. And yes, I've ignored a lot of this stuff, but whatever. Uh, fate of Yugoslavia. Now, uh, after this, or before this is even over, I will definitely go to war with the Allies. Uh, we don't have enough things yet. Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, go ahead and finish all of that. Maybe except for, you know, Königsberg thing. Uh, good, 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 good. 100% infrastructure. I love, 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 love that. That's good. Uh, go ahead and send the rest of these back up here. I don't need radar on the Soviet border yet, so... But that's just me. And maybe we could use another refinery. All right. Poland. Warsaw will be the site of the next refinery. Oh, man. The Japanese are definitely invading. We did get that back, though. How is the airspace? They have a lot of fighters. Let's do that. Let's see if we can minimize Japanese air superiority. And actually, we are about ready to go to war with the Allies. I will go to war with the Allies once we do fate of Yugoslavia. If Yugoslavia does not capitulate, obviously... But... Okay, so the last focus really shrunk the size of Yugoslavia so badly, they have no more uh, ways to access the seas. Italy, you are welcome. And actually, if we're going to go to war with the Allies, it's only France. That's fine. How is this tank division? Oh, we almost have another tank division, which is you know just about right in time for us to go to war with France or Belgium. With tanks, of course, we only have one real territory we can invade through. There we go. We have that uh, uh, Cassus Belli until early January 1940. Excavation 3 is done. Awesome. Engineering stuff. 191 days. Almost 400 days. Um, things that could help our ships now. Light cruisers and heavy cruisers. Subs. Let's do this one. It's not bad. All right, very good. Dismantle Czechoslovakian foots. I, I want to finish up Yugoslavia first. So after once Yugoslavia is done, if they go to war with us, so be it. If they don't, whatever. Uh, you know, hold your peace. Awesome, Kampfgruppe is next. And then, ah, oh yes. The next and fifth, or I guess technically fourth, tank division. Oh, the Japanese are just spilling over into every area. That's really not good. What I'm going to think of is this. Make sure your reinforcements get to the line first. We probably actually have to back up here. We probably can't deal with this massive invasion of the Japanese soldiers. I think it's time to retreat. Go ahead and make a defensive stand here or something like that. Oh, we got some extra military factories now. Good. Uh, medium tanks. I mean, that's pretty much what we got to do. I need more. Let's go up to 23. Sounds pretty good. Tactical bombers. If we can add more close air support, so be it. That sounds good to me. As well as maybe a few more heavy fighters. And we're definitely going to need more rubber and oil and whatnot. Good, good, good. Fate of the Yugos. The Yugoslavians. Go ahead and retreat. It's a tactical retreat. We're not retreating because we want to. We're retreating because we need to. Actually, we have air superiority here. Wow. Go ahead and do that. 
and Nanjing. You can come down to southern China and still have a pretty good amount of things to do here. So, And we got quite a lot of air XP so far. 130 more air XP. Nice. Alright. Now, I know we're not going to be here for very long. Let's do that. Oh, kind of short part of the line here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's almost January. It's almost 1940, yes. I mean, technically, if you want to go be historical about it, yes, I could have taken out Poland in 1939, but I would have given up half of Poland, or about half. I would probably have maybe less factories, maybe more, depending on the MEFO bills. But historically, Germany didn't attack France until, what, was it April? Or, you know, Belgium go through the Benelux. So I think we're doing okay. And boy, we got a lot of political power. Hmm, we could probably do anti-democratic raids. Which one is bigger? Democratic people or communists? They're exactly the same. But we really hate both. Or we could just do this. But this gives us more stability. It lowers our stability initially. Um, let's do Institute Press Censorship. Because why not? Oh, I'm feeling a bit peachy today. And... Yugoslavia in focus is done. There we go. The fate of Yugoslavia. We've always knew that the Yugoslav state carved out of the Habsburg Empire was an artificial country fated never to last. The ethnic resentment simmering under the first surface has boiled over and the state is falling apart. We must step in to rectify the situation. Do I annex them all? Do I make a Croatian puppet? Or, oh wait, Bulgaria got Macedonia as well. I didn't realize that. Make puppets of both Croatia and Yugoslavia. Obviously, we're going to get rid of Yugoslavia, so that option's out. I think what we're going to do is we could annex them all, but that annexing these type of minorities would not be very good. Uh, I think having Croatia have control of this would probably be the best. Even though I really don't like this, I might actually set up my own Serbian state here. I think that's a good idea. I uh, will create a Serbian state. What is this? Carve up Greece. With Yugoslav questions... To demand land for German Reich or a worthy ally. Huh. Let's do that. That looks, sounds awesome. Alright, so. Uh, I'll see what happens regarding this territory. It might be given to an enemy, allies. But if I can have the Serbians direct themselves under my command. As well as have the Croats direct their own lands. I think that would be okay. And we have all these extra guys now. So I want you. We're going to completely ignore the Soviet Union right now. Because they won't attack us. Even though we don't have a non-aggression pact. We'll do that. The tanks having been very patiently waiting. Will come to the border here. And insert. I mean exert some influence on those people. Also we will need some different people here. Let's say that. I need some Coast Guards. That cost 20, field hospitals, and artillery. And we will call you... Coasts. I just call them Coasts. Awesome. And make about... Oh, we have Marines too. Three divisions at a time. That'll be fine. If someone invades, we'll be fine. Not bad. Alright, let's get our divisions over there and get ready to go to the Krieg. Or the war. Um, you guys actually will probably get all the planes... Heavy fighters, heavy fighters, that's fine. The main group here will have the heavy fighters. Uh, close air support, tactical bombers. That, look, that looks all very good. Tactical, tactical, tactical. Uh, send two to this guy. Send two to here. And then send one to here. And this is going to eat up so much oil, it's not even funny. One, two. Do that. One, two. Do that. One, two. Oh, that's a naval bomber. Oh, the rest of these are naval bombers. All right. You guys get ready to bomb the living hell out of the area. As well as you guys. And you will need some naval bombers help. Or, I mean, heavy fighters to guard this area as well. And I'm going to need a few more heavy fighters as well for the rest of these armies. Awesome. Give our guys a couple days. We have until the end of January to go to war. January 25th. Saying bye. Awesome. Select half of those. Come here. Oh. 700. Four. Oh. Whatever. I don't really care. Just get into place. That's all that matters. That's really all that matters right now. I've got another 300 heavy fighters. 
tanks. And anything else? We have a bunch of naval bombers here. Did I have some... Ah, oh, I did have some more heavy fighters. That's fine. You can help uh, stay here to help guard the naval bombers. Everyone's reorganizing. The Chinese divisions, or at least our divisions in China, they're kind of defending. Yeah, they definitely are defending. And... Operational destruction, that's good. It's 1940. Happy 1940. Let's get some better research speed. I'm sorry, John. I have to leave you to your fate. Thank you for the XP, though. The time. Your people, I guess. And it looks like we are almost ready to go. Some of these divisions look like they need to rest up just a little bit more. And we have free civilian factories to use. We have radar already placed here. They're good to go. Maybe another fuel stockpile, perhaps? Uh, do that. Dockyards will be a major effort of mine once uh, the French are dead. And that's what all these are going to be. As well as Mimel when, when we get there. Uh, build one more refinery too since things are going to cost a lot of uh, goods. That's fine. Uh, actually, Vesta M's most of them, that's fine. Alright, cool. Let's slow it way, 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 way down. And everyone has operations that they need to do, except for a few of you guys. Heavy fighters, tactical bombers. Sounds good to me. Go to the tanks, and then fighters and regular fighters come to... Doesn't really matter. I know I'm ignoring one complete field ar army group, but whatever. I really don't care. And once we go to war with Belgium, I will make sure that everyone is also very good to go. That's a lot of divisions for me to attack at once. I mean, that's a lot of divisions. I don't know if we are actually be able to push in with these tanks, but we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. All right, and oh, before we forget, you guys stop training, go home, repair now. You guys do the same. Uh, uh, there, and then repair. Give them a few days, get back to home, repair. You guys are good. Repairing. And here we will go. Call all allies in. Hopefully the Italians will come in. Maybe do some damage. Maybe not. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep this territory for now. I'll give it to the Serbs once the French are dead. But as a quick look, the Axis is looking pretty good. we got all of, most of Central, Eastern Europe, the, almost all the Balkans, Italy's in. Not bad. Alright. Maybe we want to slow it down a little bit. And with the tanks... Give them a little bit of a push to attack 16 divisions. And our allies are in. The UK is also in, as well as France. Uh, they are attacking us in return. But we are slowly winning the battle against the Belgians. Aviation effort. And, of course, they join the allies. Uh, I put my divisions up here just in case the Netherlands would also go to war with us. But it only takes 35 days to do that. They're calling in all their allies, and I forgot I need to stop doing this. I'll do zero for now. This would cost... Actually, what? Oh, you can't give me enough anyways. This would not cost me too much. Uh, don't get anything from them. Actually, can I get... No, I can't get more from you. Uh, the British Raj will not want to trade with us. Soviet Union. I think going to be our bu buddies. Uh, definitely we'll need some more oil. Aluminum, I'll get from Hungary. And make sure, even though we have a lot of factories already, uh, put the refineries at the top. Yeah. Good. Good. British Malay is in the war. Whatever. Oh, we took. We actually won that battle. Awesome. And actually, Luxembourg, you are kind of in the way. I really don't like you being... Oh, that takes 115 days. Yeah, cancel that. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, the way I set this up is not very conductive to the war effort. I don't want to put everyone there, so I'm just going to assign one army here. Australia's at war with us. It's fine. Oh, I kind of messed that one up. There you go. That's better. Uh, oh, that's not good. Uh, before we do anything else, avoid this. Um, avoid everything around the UK for now. That'll be good. And are we using any convoys for anything? Anybody? Anything? No. 
Yes, Brazil, I'm sorry. Dutchies, Indies, we'll need that. No, no. Well, we're out of rubber. Oh, well. Venezuela, I'm sorry. But we can get some from the good old Iranians. Raj is at war with us, big deal, no one cares. Um, since we have infantry here, you look like you might be the easier target to hit. Unklug, do you have anything? No? Awesome. We do have our divisions coming back from China, so that's good. Uh, they want to send us expeditionary forces. You know, if I don't accept them, they're just going to stay where they're at. So I'm going to accept them. As was Romania. Hmm. This coffee's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Now what I'm going to do is a new theater, and this is the beginning of the coasts. Wow. Hungary is playing the artillery only game. I can be on low. That's fine. Put you under some guy who's not super great, but good enough. Van Lieb. Now, right there to Van Lieb, you get a little more entrenchment. Barely anymore. But you don't get that much experience. What the heck is this division? 26 width? That's a, that's a good division to use. But I'm going to use them as coast guards. Guard the coast, the ports, important places. And eh, maybe not important places. Definitely guard my coast first, because since I don't have anyone over here, and the UK invades, or the French invade, or someone invades... We're not going to have a good time. Right, that's good. As well as Italy, which is looks like they, they are pushing in. That's interesting. Definitely guard Italy, because you cannot trust the Italian AI to guard their own god dang shores. It's, it's sometimes very annoying when you play and they don't guard their own shores and stuff like that. Uh, actually, I'm not too concerned about getting invaded in the Black Sea. So, anywhere in the Mediterranean, I'm concerned. Like this. Wow. Uh, and mainland Europe. I'm mostly focusing on mainland Europe. Uh, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. We only need 30 divisions, so some of these guys can stack up on a single province. Good, you guys are doing fine. Maybe a little bit more of a push, perhaps. Air superiority isn't great. Ah, uh, I kind of ignored the rest of this area. That's fine, as long as the, as if, what was it, the Italians. The Italians should be doing pretty well. And we are going to war with the Netherlands soon enough, so no real big deal. Um, unfulfilled import requests. Oh, Siam, I'm sorry. I cannot trade with you anymore. I needed convoys for that. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. When we go to war with the Dutch, it'll be much easier to invade. Since the Dutch really don't have that much of an army. That's why you should always have an army ready to go. Uh, nope. How many more days until we go to the war with the Dutch? Then we'll probably end the episode there. Ah, uh, well, 24 days. That's quite a ways away. The tanks are doing fine enough. Actually, maybe not. The motorized divisions just killed themselves. Alright, I didn't eat them. And the National Spain wanted to help us out. Oh, we're actually winning now. Now we're actually pushing, and we did it. Great. Give you guys a little bit of a break. The Soviets are helping out the Belgians, it looks like. Don't give them a break. Send in 13 divisions <clears throat> as well. Should be winning there. It's fine with me. Casualties, 5,000 versus 53,000. Italy, you've lost way too many guys for this already. Holy crap, 77,000. I mean, they are pushing, but Jesus Christ, my boys. My goodness, why are you doing that? And why am I talking like this? Oh, we got some more of our old divisions back. Um, you know, I'm going to deal with those guys. Soon enough. Uh, I just want to see if we can win this battle. If we can, great. We're slowly pushing in with tanks. Yeah, we're trying to schliefen, but this is the slow schliefen plan. Slow schliefen. Oh boy, slow schliefen. Uh, we do want to take out the Belgians first. But, regardless, we have pushed a little bit into Belgium. I will, you know, work around with using our divisions. And I completely forgot that we have aircraft to bomb the hell out of enemy ships. But with that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will, of course, see you tomorrow. Uh, leave any comments you have below in the de under the description. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe, and I will see you <clears throat> tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.